Hey everyone, I'm Rayelle. You're currently in my closet and in today's video it's going to be an unboxing video and also I'm going to try to not edit my video so this should be really interesting and this is a genuine unboxing. I have yet to open up this box and as you can tell from today's title it is a Dooney and Burke bag unboxing. So let's get into the package so you can see my reaction, my unedited reaction, of course, you know, I'm trying to do all these true unboxings as best as I can. I have had this box for about almost a month now, since June the 28th, so today is July 18th. I want to get this video up for Saturday, hopefully, so let's see what we have in the box. It's gotten to be so long that I've started to forget even what this item was. So hopefully I like it. Hopefully it's the right item because now I'm probably past the point of return. And I want to keep this video short and sweet because I don't want to do a lot of editing on it. I'm going to pull a Cami from Cami's Closet and see how far I can get in just one take. So here is everything. And hopefully there's no receipt in here. I don't want to... Okay, this is interesting packaging. No bubble wrap. We've got a lot of tissue. No, I don't have a receipt. So here we go. And this is from Dillard's. I've been looking at Dillard's a lot lately, and I think I, I really like their purse selection, so I may order from them, you know, in the future. And I want to apologize for the way my hair looks. I just got done with work, and this is what I look like after work. My hair isn't combed. So that also makes the video kind of fun, right? <laughs> All right, are we ready? So this item, I was inspired by um, Suz from Suz What. If you're not familiar by her channel, you know, I can link her down below too. So go and check her out. She has a lot of Dooney and Burke items. This isn't an actual Dillard's bag. And I kind of just revealed the item. This is okay. I don't have a Dillard's in my area, so I'm sorry for all the noise. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. <gasps> all right, so this is the Dooney and Burke Art Deco collection. This is the Lexi bag, I believe. And she's got some like crazy tags put all over her. And that is not the price I paid, so that's kind of strange. Um, yeah, I don't know what to make of all these tags overlaid. I paid more than $58. It's almost like somebody put that on there in the store and then they just grabbed this bag and from the rack and threw it on in there on the box. Okay, well... And also, this bag will be going with my Dooney and Burke patent tote. I was pricing the small leather goods to match this Dooney and Burke patent leather tote, as I did on my other video. I reviewed it, showed it off in my birthday haul video. I love this tote. It's great for work, fits a lot. But I priced out the small leather goods. They were quite pricey for a patent leather wallet which I'm not the biggest fan of wallets I'd rather like a coin case or something or card holder wallets and me really just don't go so I figured for the price point why not just get a small bag to then put into the bag a bag within a bag so and I loved always seeing the art deco bags on says watch channel so I was like I need to get one of those Art Deco bags. And this was like around like, I want to say $100. 
I am not sure why this, this tag has its $58. That would be the cheapest Dooney and Burke bag ever. But it's kind of too late now to really question it since it's been a month. But let's get into this beautiful bag. I love it. It is gorgeous. And it looks in really good condition for it just being like pulled off the rack. I don't even really see any dings or dents or flaws. I mean, I'll inspect it later a little closer, but I'm not going to really return this. It was like $99 or $100, and it's past its return date. So let's, let's see it inside here, get out the tissue. I'll do some quick mod shots of it. Yeah, I believe this is called the Lexi bag, but I will do editing to the point that I will. Yes, it is. You can barely see it, but I'll take these stickers off of it and show that tag up close. Maybe. I don't want to do too much editing. This is my unedited video. Okay, a lot of freshie packets just went flying. Those are fun. There's the registration card. All right, so let's get into the inside. It's got the, the key holder on the interior. We got a few card slots. Sorry, my, my phone froze up, so hopefully there's not a delay there. We got some nice card slots here. Quite a few, actually. That's kind of nice. And then we, we don't have a zip pocket, but we have a slip pocket on the other side. So cute. I love that Dooney and Burke cursive patch there. That is so classy. I'm impressed by this bag, just, you know, being that it came obviously directly from the store, <laughs> thrown into a box. And I have a real, real question. Has anybody who has been um, ordering online, been getting a lot of the items directly from the stores, and you can just tell, like, they've been touched, they've been worn, they've been used. Real question, put it in my comment section below. I would love to talk about that, because it's been like a 50-50 lately. You know, when I order something online, maybe it's just in my mind, but the expectation is it should come in brand new, right? not off the rack off the store i mean don't these places have like warehouses that they get their items why do they come from the store where people have touched them and use them i don't know but in any case here is the front so beautiful i love this 2000s vibe there's the side there is the back the other side and that really cool bottom, I love this. And then I will do, this is just really stiffened up right now. So hopefully this will loosen up a bit. It is an adjustable crossbody strap. This unfortunately is not a removable strap. So it's gonna stay there. But here is what it looks like on me. And yeah, I'm going to have to adjust it to raise it up a little more. Sorry, my pants are really wrinkly from sitting all day. But yeah, I'm going to have to raise it up. So I like my crossbody bags to go like this way. And when I have it on my shoulder too. Yeah, because it goes like way too far down. I'm just a mess today from work. But I couldn't wait to show this bag off and start using it. Like I said, it's going to be a bag within a bag. And I just cleared her recently because I was using my Louis Vuitton Neverfull for my bag of the week. She currently has this stuffing in it. But I just wanted to show real quick how I'm going to put the Lexi bag fitter in there. So when I run out on like my lunch breaks while I'm at the office... I can just easily take this really cutie of a small purse with me and she fits perfectly right in there. So I'm really happy I went with this small purse as opposed to 
uh, it was like 150 to 170 dollars patent leather wallet that doesn't come with a strap so there we go oh and let me know in the comments section if you have any of the Dooney and Burke art deco items I think they're really cool and I really just wish Dooney would embrace the the 2000s vibes the way they used to have collections years ago like the multicolor you know purses that were similar to this because that's when I grew up and I really want more of these kinds of collections from Dooney so let me know in the comments below if you have any Art Deco Dooney and Burke so that will be basically it for my video I don't want it to be too too long and I just couldn't wait to open up this bag and see what was in here after almost a month and this is my fun really not edited video so tell me what you think of it with my disheveled hair and my wardrobe so anyways guys and I forgot to mention in the beginning of my video if you're not already subscribed make sure to go ahead and do so make sure to hit the like button hit that thumbs up leave me a comment and I will see you guys on my on my next video take care everybody Bye.